Now, as you know, in late September every year, the UN General Assembly takes place in New York, the United States of America, attracting virtually all the world leaders representing more than 200 countries and territories. They meet to talk and, of course, deliberate and try to find solutions to many of the world's political, economic and social problems. Now, one of the major highlights of the event this year is the visit of Pope Francis, who was on an official visit now to the United States and seized the opportunity to visit the General Assembly as well. Now, guess who else was at the event this year and making her voice heard? Zuriel Oduole, Nigerian-American 13-year-old filmmaker and girl-child education activist. But this time, Zuriel's focus was on achieving peaceful settlement now to the growing tension between Venezuela and Guyana over a disputed territory where Venezuela had already sent its military forces. Having met much earlier with the presidents of South Sudan and Liberia on the sidelines of the General Assembly, Zuriel met with President David Granger of Guyana, where she talked openly about her concerns, and the president spoke on the opposition about the tension between Guyana and Venezuela. Guyanese um, are small in number, our population is just three quarters of a million, and we want good relations with Venezuela. But unfortunately, Venezuela claims a large part of our territory. So we have had to come to the United Nations to uh, represent our interests and to protect our people, to prevent Venezuela from uh, using armed force to seize part of our country. Right now, they occupy half of an island that belongs to Guyana. And um, other things have happened. I don't want to de detail all of them to you. But our presence here at the United Nations is very important to protect us from Venezuelan aggression. Well, political diplomacy there, if you like, by 13-year-old Zuriel, who has now met with 16 world leaders across the globe to talk about issues ranging from education to children's safety and, of course, making very positive and compelling documentaries about Africa.